This episode of Capes and Lunatic Sidekicks is brought to you by Tweaked Audio. To get awesome headphones, go to tweakedaudio.com and use the coupon code SOUTHGATE to get 30% off, free shipping, and a lifetime warranty. Or you can get there through the link on our website, southgatemediagroup.com. Hey, what about that comic capers? What about us? <laughs> Every week. <laughs> I love how you ask the question, then you answer it, or you ask it again. What about us? Well, I don't have a will in that. It's just you and I, sir, so... What about our Comic Capers podcast? <laughs> Sparkly Quantum Tentacles. Anyway, welcome to the Capes. Capes and Lunatic Sidekicks Comic Capers. Say that ten times fast. You do it. I am Phil... <laughs> Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. I am Phil, and joining me as always on this no man's land journey is. It is the Lex Luthor of Capes and Comic Kicks. Uh, Capes and Lunatic Sidekicks. No Hellfire. I really should have went for the double alliteration. I really should have. But Lena Luthor was taken. What can I do? <laughs> Lil- Lilith Luthor. Too sinister. Yes, because Hellfire has a nice uh, ring of innocence to it. Nice, a nice, warm, toasty glow. <laughs> anyway, um, so we are still in our no no man's land journey, part twelve. And I've, I don't know where we got the number nineteen. When I checked my notes, what was it last week? It was only seventeen. It, only seventeen. So yes, yeah, so we only got five more. So I, I don't know. Thought maybe we'd do secret origin files or <laughs> who knows? It's a lot more than what we're discovering, honestly. Yeah, or we you could do like JLA tie-in. But seventeen is fine. Seventeen is fine. <laughs> um, so not what... enough. <laughs> we got to get the hush too. <laughs> Eventually. All right, so we're covering the books from November, the the Batman books from November nineteen ninety nine, uh, Batman Legends of the Dark Knight one twenty three and Batman Shadow of the Bat ninety one, both uh, part one and part two of Underground Railroad. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and then we'll get to Batman five seventy one and Detective Comics seven thirty eight, Going Downtown part one and two. <laughs> Uh, again, Bane. Going downtown. <laughs> Quite the titles this week. Yeah, yeah. But our first one, our first story, uh, well, from the first two issues, Underground Railroad, uh, featuring... Choo-choo! All aboard! <laughs> uh, Detective, uh, what's his name? Mackenzie Bach. Hardback! Oh, Because he likes to read. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but written by uh, Steve ba- Stephen Barnes. I don't know if I've, he- I've heard that name before. It was the nineties. Yeah, I was just say another fill in. Well, they they did bring in this. Seemed like a bunch of one timers to fill in for uh, Greg Rucka when he needed a break. He's just like, I need a break. Paul Ryan pencils. We all know Paul Ryan. Not that Paul Ryan. The other Paul. Ryan. No, 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 no. The artist. Yes. <laughs> I believe I think we talked about this on the Quantum Zone. I I think uh, I think Will was telling me not because we were talking about how Grunewald had passed away. I think Paul he said Paul Ryan may have passed away as well. I mean these guys are getting up there. I mean Stanley's gone, so spoilers I guess in case you don't know. <laughs> yeah, they weren't, they weren't as old as Stanley, but yeah. I mean some of them. I mean you know that's that's a hard sedentary lifestyle, you know. Mm-hmm. But yeah. That's sad. But yeah, we get like yet another group of, uh, you know, survivors <laughs> trying to do it the right way. And you it- know, it's not, it, it's not like No Man's Land was meant to be like, you know, how they were always trying to make Superman the last Kryptonian. <laughs> no, it's, it's lots of survivors. It's not a big surprise. <laughs> Don't say it like that. I know. So, so is Bach taking a break from the cops, or is he stationed here? Or because it seems like he spends most of his days here because he's, he's like teaching. You know, he's helping teach self defense classes with that old guy, and and then helping people scavenge for supplies. 
just another day in Gotham as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. <laughs> TV well, like, show and inverse <laughs> comic book. True, true. So, yeah. But I love, like, the old... I don't know, this was, like, kind of, like, slow and dialogue and... <laughs> Well, yeah, especially the first part, too, because they're setting up, you know, what Box has been yeah. doing. And... Yeah, that's that's the only thing I don't like about, like, two-parters. It's just, like, the first one's always going to be 100% pure setup. <laughs> With the cliffhanger, of course. <laughs> and and uh, Box kind of flirting with this veterinarian who's acting as their doctor. Humans! Animals! Same difference. <laughs> Some people like animals more. Just ask uh, the penguin. Ask me. <laughs> but, yeah. I don't know how I feel about this, though. It's kind of like a... The two, the two part is definitely kind of slow. And it's basically... I mean, the whole gist of the story is like they're running out of supplies, but then uh, they find out about a... <laughs> well, Bok has to fight in Penguin's Club. Didn't we have a story about this? Or not Bok, but uh, Penguin's Fight Club. <laughs> yeah! It's all gotta come full circle. I'm like, Batman hasn't shut this down yet. He's letting the, the he's letting them thin the herd themselves, you know? True, true, true. So, the, 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 old, the, the old ninja master guy basically teaches him how to die or basically not care. <laughs> yeah. Because, like, Bok gets in the ring with an opponent who should have beat him, but he's like, he breaks some bones, even tries to bite the guy's face off. <laughs> Pulling the old Mike Tyson. <laughs> and uh, I just love the veterinarian. She's like, I don't know you. It's like, well, you know, we're trying to get these kids out of the city. Uh, but, I mean, how do you feel about, I mean, then they discover this guy, Tubman, who uh, knows of a little <laughs> underground railroad. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. I was like, it's not February. You missed your chance on this one. <laughs> Let it go. It, I, it, it's, it's very weird because, yeah, it's literally an underground railroad, but it's like basically one black man sh- helping another black man and a bunch of people get out. <laughs> ah. Somebody get John Henry up. <laughs> Somebody get, like I was say, someone get John Byrne on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> that too. You, you can never go wrong with getting John Byrne on the phone. <laughs> Hint, Philip. Hint. I'm trying. I'm trying to find some <laughs> contact information. The guy's like a ghost. Donald. Oh, I did love um, the computer design. Uh, that that computer with LexCore. It's like setting the little seeds. Mm-hmm. And then, but we won't find out till what, like Shadow of the Bat ninety three or something like that. Something like that. It's it's within like that last what, like two months or something maybe. Oh, and I also like the um, special thanks to Stephen uh, Stephen Plank for martial arts choreography. <laughs> I was just like, oh, this is so cute. I love it. Oh, uh, but then, do, I mean, do you buy the part where Penguin helps them get away? Because they're being chased by bad guys, but Penguin. It, I mean, out. if this was Penguin from the Gotham TV show, yes, but this that Penguin and this Penguin are two very different things. So it's just like, oh, there's some ulterior motive, obviously, here. I mean, there has to be, because it's like comic book Penguin. He's basically been, you know, everything's, you know, he has been selfishly for his own ends, this whole no man's land, and all of a sudden he's going to help these people escape. Yeah, and then, like, the whole visit from the Joker. Oh, yeah, where he crushes one of his birds, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was bleak. Yeah, the, the whole, the, that, there was only like a well, page or two with the Joker, and it seemed like it was kind of crowbarred in. Ha <laughs> ha, crowbar. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to. <laughs> Every time now. <laughs> Take a drink. Uh, oh, wait, then he crushed a bird. So it's almost, I mean, I don't think it was a robin, but, you know, he basically crushed a bird with a, well, then I said crowbar. <laughs> We're getting there. It's, it's still early in the day. It's okay, Philip. Ah. <laughs> what was with the TV news? I'm just like, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> but it's like the, the anger man was the same guy from the marketplace begging for something. It was just like weird, right? Yeah, yeah. I was like, where's this going? <laughs> but I think it was setting up the whole Tubman thing. and The art of Silo. I wonder, is that a 
real thing. I didn't bother to look it up. Um, Which I, is the technique, you know, you need to become motionless and painless or whatever. Yeah, no, I did not look it up. I meant to. Maybe I should do that now. But uh, I got it. Okay. It's a thing. But, no. But no, yeah, it's not a bas- thing. basically, the the veterinarian box trying to put the moves on her. Yeah, her father's like this soul. Ninja guy, because he even mentioned something in the first issue, and Batman's like, because Batman shows up in like the beginning of the first issue, and you know, to make it a Bat book. <laughs> yeah, and, that, and then in, and then in part two, Robin like helps them like get down to the railroad. <laughs> I won't ask any questions. I'll just help you. Um, this is really funny though. I, I think my favorite quote is like, "What hardback? They'll call you broke back after I'm through with you." And I'm like, "Oh, just a few years too early, bro. Uh, a few <laughs> years too early." I know. It would obviously would have been like, "What?" <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's it's great to be able to put some things into context when you go back and read <laughs> old books. <laughs> yes. But yeah, but yeah so. Yeah, he gets the kids and everybody out to the railroad to the other side of the river. North to freedom! <laughs> I just love it. It's like, it's a, it's a tunnel. I mean, couldn't, one, couldn't people walk? It was it was kind of boarded up, but couldn't people walk out? Because, like, the National Guard or whoever is just, like, standing, sitting there on the other side. Like, oh, yeah, no one will just think to just walk out, out of this tunnel. Weren't there enough people in the sewers and stuff? <laughs> people weren't going to figure out a way out. <laughs> Well, you know, to be fair, I figure Gotham is pretty old. Yeah. In really old places, um, you know, they build on top. Like, New York, if you, the subways and the tunnels underneath are, are pretty big maze. If you don't know where you're going, you will get lost. True. So I can totally kind of see it. It was a stretch, but I could kind of see it. Mm. So, yeah. Part two. Uh, yeah. Part two. Well, what did you think of part one? Like grade it. Uh, I'll give it a B minus. Okay, yeah, it's, I, I like the artwork definitely. Mm-hmm. Like I said, the story was really dialogue-y and a lot of setup, but it was still a okay. I mean, it had a good pacing to it. Mm-hmm. But it's just like you know, we're almost in the home stretch here. You know, like come on. <laughs> yeah, we just get like a token appearance from Batman. It's like okay, we're we're still gonna do that at this point. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I don't know. I don't mind not seeing him. He mm-hmm. he didn't even really need to show up, as far as I'm concerned. And they might have had to kill like another couple weeks, and it's like you know, you know, once the No Man's Land's over, you know, it's gonna be twenty four seven Batman. So yeah, so I, like I can understand it from like the creative process of yeah. why they were doing what they were doing. So but yeah. You can tell everybody's losing steam. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Again, and- I, I just, I just wonder if they were like make if they were just like had people like, oh yeah, submit a story that could fit anywhere in no man's land, so they just like you know squeeze them in wherever. Yeah, yeah. Um. So part two is actually it seems really short because mm-hmm. not a lot happens. It's basically oh, it's a lot more action than the, the yeah, it's first all action pretty story, much. Yeah. Yeah, going downtown. Yeah, yeah, a lot of action going downtown. I, I liked Angel though, so it was just kind of like, yeah, get him. Mm-hmm. I'm rooting for it. No, never mind. <laughs> Penguin just seems so weird in this story. What? Penguin is just so weird in this story, though. That's what just kind of takes me out of it. Mm-hmm. And Robin too. So it's just like. I don't know what's. I don't know what to make of all of this. It's basically just Bane, Bane like follow me, or I will kill you. Come with me if you don't want to die. <laughs> Although I will kill you eventually. And it's the last um, year. It's the last year of the 1990s. So of course he had to have a big gun. Big guns and big pouches. That's what was going down. Know. Just as Deadpool. I miss you, Wade's World. <laughs> that was what was oh, going down downtown. Um, the U- I, I just the U.S. Marshals just see the train coming out though. That's just the best. Like, yeah. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah. But at least they took the kids to the hospital and arrested Angel and all of his men, and then Vanessa and Bach, You know. Mm-hmm. It's like Penguin. You, you two, E two for this. E two. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. I don't know. At least, mm, Bach, they could have kept that. Like, it just felt weird. It should have been. I don't know. Uh, I guess you don't want to get too many people getting away earlier in No Man's Land, but. Yeah. Just a guy doing a job. If the shoe fits, you wear them or you walk away. <laughs> yeah, that was a weird quote. <laughs> Just the cape flapping in the breeze like Batman's cape. Sneak the rooftop. <laughs> well, in the last page of the day, he was. <laughs> Uh, I mean, to be Batman, that's all you need nowadays. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, Breeze, little rooftop, just ask Baby Bat on Gotham. <laughs> but yeah, this, I mean, this Bane story, though, I mean, so much. It's, yeah, it seemed like they've tried to pack a lot into this. <laughs> but, and yet, still, we don't have the confrontation. It's just like, I don't care, Bane. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Well, but at least the next one kind of, yeah. Yeah. So. But just him and that girl, and. I love how he's like, yeah, I, I spared you and not your friends because you're the, you're the least threat. But meanwhile, he wants her to carry all his stuff. I'm like, well, wouldn't you save one of the guys if you wanted somebody to carry all your stuff? Sexist. <laughs> I guess. Ugh. That cover, though, tickles me every time. What, that one? Yeah. Los Bandoleros! Like, that's the vibe I get. Bane trying to be Cable. I know. <gasps> that's a crossover nobody needs or wants. Mm-hmm. Why, that's a... Oh. <laughs> well, he's already been Thanos and uh, Cable. Why do I gotta have Josh Brolin do Bane? <laughs> Couldn't do worse than what Tom Hardy did. Fight me. Fight me. Somebody tell me Tom Hardy did a good job as Bane. We will fight. I don't think anyone's going to fight you on that. Okay. Fight you, nerd. Crystal Mate. Don't <laughs> be the troll. Uh, Excellent use of the drop, Philip. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, well, then you get Penguin again, back to his usual self. Uh, Small miracles. <laughs> And then, I, you knew this was coming, you know, Two-Face gets, like, attacked. It's like, well, yeah, you, you, well, you double-cross enough people, and guess what? Yeah, it all comes back around, like some super connectivity blog or something. It all comes full circle. <laughs> That's true. And what about our super connectivity podcast? Hashtag all one word. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the, yeah, you got Batman and Robin, like, t- and, like <laughs> keeping people from making moonshine and saving some kids. It's like, let the people have something, bro. That That's where I was just like, I'm going to draw the line. I'm going to let people make the moonshine. Well, that's what the guy said. And they're like, well, yeah, your stuff's blinding people. <laughs> that's how you know it's good. <laughs> you know why Saturday Night's Love Hellfire's been legally blind? <laughs> I'm saying I did live in Kentucky for quite a while, people. <laughs> Just saying. I don't know. This one, I liked all the action, so it definitely gets like a B plus for me. But like I said, it just still still feels like we're spinning our wheels. Yeah, well, at least on the first part, because well, and then Penguin tells Batman and Robin what Bane's up to. Yeah, finally. The Hall of Records. What? <laughs> Meanwhile, at the Hall of Records. <laughs> at the Hall of Records. <laughs> But yeah, oh yeah, then Two Face had guards at the uh, Hall of Records because Harvey Dent knew what was going on. One of them did. <laughs> so his guards call and he's like, "I'm a little busy right now. I'm under siege in a bathroom." Yeah, that's what the kids call it. <laughs> hey oh, being all half. <laughs> oh wait, he still has Montoya at this point. Oh boy. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I, oh, yeah. I am excited that we are going to get Renee Montoya in the Batwoman TV show. Yes. So, you know, you can still technically bring back before the Bat because Batman's missing in Batwoman. Just going to throw that out there for extra work for Philip. 
I mean, we could do. I told you we can rotate our shows. Yeah, we could do that. I, I don't care about that one, but maybe you find somebody that does. <laughs> well, I was gonna say if we wanted to keep doing more before the bat, you know, what we could do besides the Batwoman stuff. If you, if well, I mean, the Alfred we do, show. Well, no, I was, gonna, <laughs> I was gonna say we could do it here, but I was gonna say we can always do like a bunch of Legends of the Dark Knight ep- uh, issues. Or you know, that original ones. animated series, or. <laughs> That's true. We can do, yeah. <laughs> or, you know, Brave and the Bold, which has literally become my favorite anime, well, second favorite. Let's not get here away. Batman animated series, greatest thing ever. <laughs> or, or a bunch of Batman Beyond. Ah, uh, yeah. So, so, uh, you guys want more Batman? A lot we did more... the movie, live commentary. Yeah. Once you, upon a time. You guys want a lot more Batman content? Email us, capes and lunatics at gmail.com. Con- <laughs> what? The good Batman content? Yes. Not bat flick content. <laughs> That's right. Oh, yeah. But no, like I said, this is definitely a solid B plus. Um Yeah, and the plot thickens, it's like leave Bane literally. alone. Literally. <laughs> yeah. Leave Bane alone. You just leave him alone. Then then they have to keep uh Two Face from getting lynched. <laughs> Yikes. Hanged. Hanged. I don't know, man. I I was expecting Two Face to be a bigger threat than what he ever turned out to be. Wow, well, I, I don't know if they were spinning their wheels on him too, because like, like we like at said, the beginning it was strong and it was all that, and then you're just yeah. like, oh. like we like we said in a few weeks we're going to be getting a big Two Face story. No, that's good, but yeah, right now it's just like, oh, Two Face. They don't explore Two Face enough. They really don't. We're gonna get we're gonna get uh, Two Face versus Harvey Dent in court. <laughs> Uh, what a kangaroo court that's gonna be. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so, uh, yeah, they let Bane blow up the whole records, and Robin's like, why? Why? You'll find out soon, my dear. <laughs> Batman, Bane had no reason to destroy the city's records, but someone did. And I, dun, dun, dun. And I have a feeling they're about to step into the light. Yes, that is exactly the feeling you get. Like literally, <laughs> they they should have had a TV on in the back, and the sound effects come from the TV for that one. <laughs> they should have. They should have like just like gave some punch to some L words. Be like, we shouldn't have to wait too long. <laughs> <laughs> Lascivious activities. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> the Easter eggs are there if you look hard enough. So, someone's someone's buying up property all over the city and the cure for baldness. Who could it be? Cure for baldness. <laughs> I'd have just been like, Clark, come get your homeboy. Come get your homeboy. <laughs> Yes. Oh, that would have been great. That would have been, you know, before Batman was like telling him to keep out of town. He's like, he's like, oh no, no, wait, this is your problem now. Get over here. <laughs> Although, you know what? I do like when they write that they do that. That Bruce and Lex have a rivalry because it makes sense. Because mm-hmm. in the corporate atmosphere that they're both in, it actually would make sense for them to even like like what they did with Lex Luthor and um, Oliver Queen in Smallville, where they were in the yeah. same circles and they went to the same private schools and stuff. This is when we need Charlie here. Bruce and Lex, I'm waiting for Charlie to say, which one, yeah, which one's the evil one? Two sides of the... Yeah, that's the thing about Smallville that I enjoy. Two sides of, you know, of the same point. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. I always gotta work a Smallville reference and take a drink. <laughs> that's oh, take a drink. Oh, but if you love Superman, I'll throw it out there. Uh, our boys on the Krypton report uh, guest starred on The Last Sons of Krypton. <gasps> really? They, well, yeah. Well, so far, only part they they all reviewed the 1978 Superman movie. Uh, part one only went up so far. It's two parts. The first part's like not quite three hours long. <laughs> wow, that's yeah. some, that's Infinity uh, Endgame right there. <laughs> With Ray and Connor from Australia, yes. <laughs> Noise. Uh, you know Ray from the Moon from the Moon Knight podcast. I am the nerd. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so yeah. Moving on. <laughs> but yeah, I just I did so like what we were saying with that box story. I think they just like shoehorned some of these stories. They just had to find a spot for some of these stories. 
because I'm sure you read Batman Day of Judgment number one wasn't on our yes. list, but it's like it's it's cover date in November, just like these issues. But it you, you get to, it takes place after like next week's ballistic romance and like the Robin yeah. issues because they're like, oh hey, I see you recovered. Hey, you too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Timeline gets a little wonky at the end. It does. Mm-hmm. You gotta squeeze everything. <laughs> Condense it. Yeah, because, you know, the whole time, Batman, I can't leave No Man's Land. I can't leave No Man's Land. Day of Judgment, Day of Judgment hits. I have to leave No Man's Land. <laughs> <laughs> Nightwing and Robin are in charge. I mean, he should have just done that in the first place, but, you know. Yeah. Reasons. Bat reasons. <laughs> Story. Convenient plot point. As you do. It's comic books. It's storytelling in general. Mm-hmm. So, yep, it's a solid B effort. Yes. But uh, from here on out, it's crazy town. Yep, gets rolling pretty much, yep. Yeah. So at least there's that. And as we mentioned, I think uh, next week it'll be, a sh- it'll be a smaller episode. Only two issues, but it's Nightwing. Nightwing baby! Ballistic Romance. Nightwing. Oh, Nightwing. actually, one of my favorite Dick and Babs interactions ever. Yes. Yes, it is good. And we get Huntress in there, too, just to spice things up. Oh, and does she spice things up? That's <laughs> love right. Her. Oh, yeah. <laughs> love her. <laughs> oh, you know, honestly, I think she's a better fit with Oliver. The one thing Arrowverse got right. Ew. <laughs> but in, like, Siege of, Siege of the Clock Tower. <laughs> Poor Clock Tower has been through so much. <laughs> but we'll get there next week. All right. Uh, so again, this is part twelve. We're going to part seventeen of uh, No Man's Land. Uh, we'll get the Batman Hush eventually. But what else would you like to see us cover or send us your thoughts on any of this? Capes of Lunatics at gmail dot com. I think I saw a comment that said something about Archie comics. I don't know. Give the people what they want, Philip. <laughs> I was going to say it's it's uh you know sent to us by uh, I won't say your real, your real man, but it's. <laughs> Yes, yes, my personal account. That's you got you caught me, Philip. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're bored and brash. We'll just send it under a little hellfire. Be like, we're doing this. <laughs> we'll do it live. <laughs> Don't write it anyway. Listen, <laughs> follow us on Facebook, Comic Capers, Twitter at Comic Capers Pod, uh, Instagram CL Sidekicks, and the voicemail six one four three eight two two seven three seven. That's six one four thirty eight Capes. And Lilith? You nerds want to fight me on the interwebs? I can be found on Twitter at Lilith Hellfire. I'm on the gram at Lilith Hellfire 86. If you want to talk Smallville, Superman, or pretty much any superhero at this point, you can find me over on at Save Me Pod on Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, and or Instagram. Fight me, nerd. Always. Alright. So again, join us next time. Ballistic Romance, Nightwing, Babs, Oracle. We're just shouting out hashtags at this point. No worries. <laughs> I was gonna say we're just better than shouting out three three words that have that have no meaning to each other. <laughs> but we'll get there. Hmm, it's Nightwing next week. I wonder what we'll get. Oh, well, I know what I'll probably know what I'll probably be giving it. But. <laughs> No, Tim Seeley didn't write it, so it's up in the air. <laughs> that was still a pretty good time. It, it was. Dixon writes a good night way. But yes, yeah, send your thoughts in and uh, join us next time. Agree, disagree. Hell, if you just want to argue with Lilith, I mean, send your thoughts in. Well, I love a good argument. If somebody wants to argue with me, I'm always down for that. <laughs> That's at Miles Manzor. <laughs>